I think we all want to nurture that sense of creativity in our children. When I was a kid, I remember my first camera and all the terrible photos I took with it, which then cost an absolute bomb to develop. Thankfully, things are digital nowadays. And of course, every family probably has multiple devices like old smartphones and tablets that are capable of taking digital photos. But sometimes you want something simpler and more kid friendly that doesn't include a web browser or YouTube app. The My First InstaWe camera is exactly that. Oh, and it prints photos too, and stickers and labels too. Yeah, this is really cool. Maybe I won't give this to the kiddo after all, actually. It's in crowdfunding now, and you too can pick one up for less than $100, though this will rise to $130 RRP after the campaign ends. Now it comes with a set of five rolls of printing material, so everything you need to get started with is in the box. My first is not a new company. In fact, we've reviewed products of theirs before, so the usual Kickstarter caveat applies, but I'm confident you should be safe with this one. Uh, it's not a concept product. It's fully functional and should be ready for shipping. The My First InstaWe camera doesn't contain any sort of revolutionary printing technology, Quite the opposite, in fact. It uses thermal printing, which you'll probably be familiar with if you've ever got a receipt when in a shop. It's black and white, sure, but it's quick, durable, and more importantly, the rolls you can print onto are so common and cheap uh, as to basically be free, like a hundred prints for a dollar sort of thing. So you don't need to worry about constantly shelling out for $10 packs that will give you 10 prints. Now you can either use regular small rolls of receipt paper or the kind that come with a sticker backing. However, I will say that the regular rolls seem to come out a little bit higher quality. Now this is a great compromise that marries the throwaway nature of digital photography with something cool and physical that you can hand out to your little friends and family. You could stick it on a photo collage board or put it in your scrapbook. Let's take a closer look at the hardware. It's big and bulky, but lightweight, half a pound. And as you'd expect at this price point, it's mostly made of plastic. It's very suitable for little hands. It's cute, yet it still has reasonable specs with a micro SD card storage up to 32 gigabytes with a 12 megapixel front camera and even a selfie camera around the back. It even takes photos, albeit in AVI format at 1080p, 30 FPS from the front camera and 720p from the rear camera. Now, obviously, the quality is nothing to boast about. However, the microphone leaves a bit to be desired, so I'll record the next bit on the camera itself just to demonstrate. The box includes a handy lanyard and this odd plastic stand, which isn't actually a docking or charging station, I should add. It seems like it might be powered somehow, given that it has buttons on the back, but actually uh, those are just bits of plastic that sort of push through to the main buttons on the camera when it's sat in there. So this really is just a chunk of plastic to act as a stand. It won't actually charge the camera. Instead, that's done round the side with the included cable. Using the camera is incredibly easy as you'd expect. Just hold down the power button to turn it on. Then you've got a camera switch button to swap between front and rear cameras. And you have two buttons with which you can take a photo. The first just takes the picture and saves it while the second takes it and instantly prints it. The only thing you should be careful of here is that you mustn't shake the camera while it's printing. Do try to keep still for about 10 seconds. I don't mean stay perfectly still, but if you do shake it, uh, then the print quality will be a little bit degraded. If you run out of thermal rolls, loading it again is child's play. Just pull down the front cover, put the roll in and leave it hanging there. There we go. You can also access the stored photos and reprint using the same buttons uh, for anything that you want more copies of. Now, when taking photos, there's also the option to add in uh, Purikura style stickers onto it, like horns or a big red lip, but the selection is severely limited and you'll probably get bored of those really quickly. It's a shame you can't add more, but maybe that'll be updated at a later date. Now, there is also an accompanying app, and that's mainly what this dock is to be uh, used in conjunction with. Stick it into the dock, hold down the Wi-Fi button 
to start broadcasting a local Wi-Fi network, then connect to that, open up the InstaWe app. From there, you'll be able to remotely access the photos and enable label printing. Now included in your initial purchase pack is a one, two and three row label uh, thermal sticker sheets. At the time of review, the options here uh, in terms of making the labels seem kind of limited, so you couldn't resize the text yet. I found the defaults were a little bit small and wasteful with too much white space, but I assume that'll be enhanced by the time of final release. Certainly the ability to double up as a label printer is immensely useful and really enhances the value proposition of the My First InstaWe camera, which is already pretty awesome. On a per print basis, of course, it is infinitely cheaper to print onto this common thermal paper, uh, even the sticker sheets versions, uh, compared to your classic sort of Instamatic style cameras, which cost 50 cents to a dollar per print. This is one cent per print or less. And because it's digital, you can print multiple copies or reprint something that's saved on the memory card. Although my first does sell replacement rolls, they're also a standard size. So 57 millimeters wide up to 26 millimeters thick uh, is fine. You can buy generic rolls on Amazon easy enough and very, very cheaply. So should you buy the my first InstaWe camera? As a first kids camera for toddlers and young children, uh, the sort of age where you don't want them to have a smartphone yet, I think the my first InstaWe camera represents great value for money as well as printing capabilities which they'll love. The fact it does label printing too is awesome and will give it a use as they grow up as well. Though that does require the use of the accompanying app, so parental guidance will be needed there. And the app does need a little bit of development still. The prints might be black and white, but they're cheap. And while the eco credentials of thermal printing chemicals are somewhat questionable, I think the creative possibilities for kids outweigh all of that. All in, it's a great first instant camera for kids, which is exactly what it's trying to be. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this has helped you decide whether or not to back the My First InstaWe camera. If it has, then do hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel for more gadget reviews, giveaways, and more from all of us over at makeuseof.com.